what's in your water, has become an increasingly fraught question for many people in the U.S. and around the world. Getting the answer to that simple question isn't always easy or cheap. Scientists are using the familiar coffee ring effect to analyze multiple components in a single drop of water easily, quickly, and cheaply. Someday, the public could use the method to test their own tap water. The coffee ring effect is the familiar phenomenon in which the particles of a droplet of water tend to concentrate around the edges of the droplet as the water evaporates. Each pattern left by the coffee ring effect by real-world water samples are unique depending on the source for each drop. Rebecca Lahr, Michigan State University, is treating the uniqueness of each coffee ring effect like a fingerprint that can be used to identify each sample. Lahr points out that public health concerns only came to the forefront in recent years in cities like Flint, Michigan, Toledo, Ohio, and Charleston, West Virginia after people consume contaminated tap water. These experiences demonstrate the need for improved water quality monitoring techniques, she says. It turns out that the unique pattern left by a sample of water provides information on many properties of the water, dissolved solids, hardness, alkalinity, and metal ions, for example. Determining each of these properties in a sample traditionally required a different analytical method. The cost of those individual tests mount up. Lars' team dries droplets of various tap water samples on low-cost aluminum substrates. Then they photograph the resulting coffee ring effect with a cell phone through an inexpensive jeweler's loop. After many experiments, they obtained reproducible residue patterns for tap waters from communities across southern Michigan. They also created synthetic tap water solutions to mimic community tap waters with varied amounts of dissolved particles. The team is working on creating a library of patterns produced for known samples that can be used to identify patterns that appear in unknown samples. This would be a faster and cheaper method to screen samples and raise red flags when there should be further analyses performed. The researchers are presenting their work at the 254th National Meeting and Exhibition of the American Chemical Society. Headline Science is a production of the American Chemical Society. For more of the latest chemistry headlines, make sure to subscribe.